Firefighters are currently gathering in East Honolulu to celebrate in a remembrance hike to honor those who passed during the attack on 9-11. Chris Otronek joins us live from Coco Crater with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Sarah and Sam, and everybody on this Aloha Wednesday. Yes, I'm remembering uh, that fateful day uh, that happened 23 years ago, and it seems like only yesterday we all remember where we were when it happened. And uh, right now, a lot of honoring has been going on. We got a lot of remembrance ceremonies that are going on across the state, uh, one over at Honolulu Hale at night, and then around midday at Cameron Park. Uh, but also, honoring has been going on all morning long here at Cocoa Head Tra uh, Trail, uh, where many uh, factions from the U.S. Uh, US military, as well as first responders, have been here uh, really uh, getting work done uh, with some PT. Here to tell us more is Kristen Maxwell, who's first lieutenant for the 71st uh, Chemical Company uh, for the U.S. Army. Good morning to you, Kristen. Uh, tell me, uh, how important is this day? This day is very important to me. Uh, I grew up uh, in about an hour north of New York City, so this hits home for sure. Uh, brought out my soldiers to honor this day, do Cocoa Head. It's about 1,055 steps, so do that twice. Um, it represents the towers, so... We suffer a little bit for those who suffered much more and lost a lot more since that day, 20 years of war. So um, just doing anything we can to honor those we lost. Yes, this hits close uh, to you as well as you had a family member that yeah. was lost in there. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, that lost hero? Yeah, I was two years old, um, didn't get to meet him, but he was my uncle. Um, my mom's side of the family is all firefighters um, and basically my whole family is military. Um, so Larry Stack, um, battalion chief of... Uh, uh, firefighting in New York and he, he just like he's awesome and it's just uh, it's tough to not get to know my uncle but it's, it's great that um, we can honor them and what, those we lost that day. I know he's looking down at you, knowing you now, and so proud. And uh, this is kind of part of PT, but you guys got, this is not over. Uh, yeah. You actually did a little bit more than just once. Tell me about what, what more to do uh, with you and your company. Yeah, so uh, we're doing co uh, Cocoa Head to represent the towers. Um, 71 police officers lost, so we're doing 71 push-ups. 55 mil military personnel lost, 55 sit-ups, and 343 firemen lost, so 343 squats. Wow, that is amazing. And if you're uh, thinking of a way to honor uh, the people that were lost, Here's a, a good one right there, and I think I might have to take a picture and do that later. But yeah, any last words to the people remembering this day? Uh, just never forget and always uh, remember the sacrifice that happened that day and has been happening since, for sure. Kristen, thank you so much for everything you do, your service, uh, your family in the past, and uh, everything. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kristen, and all of the service members and uh, first responders that have been here so far. Uh, just a little while ago, we saw five firefighters from HFD going up, as well as even five from uh, the bomb squad going up full suit. So uh, amazing, just heroic just doing that, but honoring our fallen, uh, all of our friends and family in this horrible tragedy that happened 23 years ago. We'll have more information on our website at kh 12 Chris Otronic, working for Hawaii live from Cocoa Head Trail. Send anything back to you.